Hey guys, it's Toy, and I am excited about this video. So I didn't post a whole lot in January. I was having some technical difficulties. Um, I was in the transition of going from a PC to a Mac. Nothing was compatible and I couldn't record a quality video, but here I am with my Goodreads wrap up update. I will be following up with my book reviews and then I have a whole bunch of other content to get out there. So let's get started. So right now with my Goodreads challenge, I am, I've completed three books. Um, now again, when I do this challenge, it's not necessarily books that I'm reading all the time. Um, nothing like novel length always. Um, sometimes I'm reading short stories, graphic novels, so it could be whatever. I will say of the three things that I've completed this year so far, one of them was a short story. <laughs> but I did that intentionally because I wanted to give myself a boost of us having a rough month. So um, I am on track for my challenge this year. I set it at, um, I think I only set it for 36 books this year, which I've done before. Um, I've done way more than that also, but I'm trying to like not put a lot of pressure on myself. So um, that's going pretty well. Um, I have a couple of books that I'm currently reading. Um, let's see here. I want to talk about when I get to my review video, I'm going to give kind of a review of a book that I didn't finish. And I want to um, return to that book later. So I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail now, but I'll just mention it. That book is Fractions of Existence. It was an IWSG book club read for the month of January. Um, we also had a like a nonfiction book that month, um, but I didn't even really try to read that one. I was gonna, but I was like, no, I'm so like overwhelmed with nonfiction right now that I'm going to be very kind of picky and choosy about whether I do or don't read nonfiction moving forward. I'll talk about that more later. So what I'm currently reading, um, let's see here. I am currently reading 25 Impossible Tales of Survivors. Um, hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm currently reading 25 Tales of Survivors, Flawed Heroes, and Annoyed Villains, a science fiction and fantasy collection. So this is a collection of short stories written by one author, um, Tyrian Martinson. And I've read some of her other work and I really enjoyed it. And so when I saw she released this short story collection, I jumped on it since that's something that I plan to do within the next year or two is release a short story collection. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to get into that. So I'm currently reading that right now. And so I won't have a review for it in my review video this month, but hopefully next month. Uh, let's see here. The things that I did actually read and finish in the month of January were um, self-editing for fiction writers, how to edit yourself into print. And that was an IWSG book club read. I don't even remember which month it was for because I completed it in a month that it wasn't being spotlighted. <laughs> because again, I've been struggling with nonfiction. And so I had started it and it's really good, but I, what happened was <laughs> I actually started using it for an editing project, which slowed down my progress because I was actually using it as I was reading it. So I don't know what month it was for, but you'll get the review in the review video. The other book that I finished in the month of January was Book of Shadows. I was very much looking forward to this book. Um, this is another one that I don't know why I put off reading it. Like I, I, I do kind of know why, but this is the sequel to a series that I absolutely love. And so I finally got around to reading it and that review will be in the next video. And so um, that is what I read in January. Um, like I said, so far in February, I've completed um, one short story. Um, I'll just mention what that is, but I won't go into a whole bunch about it. Um, Influence of Love, a Sweet Fantasy Romance. So that's a short story. And there's, um, I think it's part of a series. So I may get the other ones in the series since they're so short, we'll see. And so that's what's been going on with my reading. <laughs> So um, I'm, I'm doing pretty good with my challenge right now, especially since I, you know, have my own rules for the challenge. I'm allowed to read short things and visual things, not just novels all the time, but I will be, 
you know, reading some novels, of course, or novel length books, at least. I'm not going to be reading as much nonfiction as I have just because I'm kind of in a nonfiction burnout mode. But if something catches my eye and I think it'll be beneficial to me, then yeah, I'll absolutely read that. And um, so I'm going to get to my review video. Um, I do want to mention that a lot of the books that I've been trying to read and maybe not finishing have been part of my book club. And so I have a book club read this month that as soon as I'm finished with this collection of short stories, I am going to read it. Whether I finish it is, you know, is debatable, but I'm definitely going to start reading it. So I'll just go ahead and tell you what the IWSU book club reads for the month of February are. And that way, if you want to check them out, you can. The nonfiction selection is Nail Your Novel, Characters Who Keep Readers Captivated. I am actually interested in this title, so I'm going to put it on my TBR, but I am not going to attempt to read it this month, just again, because I'm in this whole nonfiction burnout mode thing, but this is definitely a book I'm interested in reading, just not right now. What I am going to be picking up as soon as I finish my short story collection is The Summer of Luck. This is a middle grade novel that I'm very excited about. And so, like I said, I don't know if I'll finish it in this in the month of February, but I'm at least going to start it. All right. So what have you guys been reading? How did your January go? Did your, is your year starting off better than mine? Um, are you taking the Goodreads challenge? How is that going? And uh, what are you currently reading? So I would love to know that. I would love to hear your comments below about some of the things that I've read. Remember, my review video is coming up. And yeah, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You could also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.